Hey guys, Jordan Silvis with Silvis Productions, and I had a friend that recently asked me how to package up and send a Final Cut Pro project if you are, for example, sending a whole project to a client or if you want to share that whole project with another creative to do editing elsewhere. And today I'm going to show you how to pack that up as small as possible so that way you can send it over to whoever else is working on it. So let's take a look here, we'll dive right in. So right now I'm working on this wedding and if I wanted to, for example, either send this wedding to somebody else to work on or if I was going to pack this up and send it to this couple, um, what I wanna, I wanna do is first delete the render files because when you look at the, the, the project file right here, uh, you look at get info and then you can see that the project file, my project file is 40 gigs. Now this, depending on how big your project is, this could be hundreds of gigs, possibly. Um, but we wanna get that as small as possible so we can get that on an external hard drive and send that over. And then also, one thing that I'm gonna mention first is I create libraries for each and every project. So if you have a library that has all of different events of different projects, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to move that to its own library. So if say this is the event that you'd wanna move, you'd wanna select that, hit file, um, and then copy event library to new library, or if you are working on a, if you have another library that you wanna move it to, you can move it to that, that way. But um, you wanna have your own library, uh, which would be, it would look like this, and then you'd have the client's name or the project name right there, because that's the easiest way to move it. All right, so now what? once you have your library in place, you're gonna wanna click this uh, library, make sure you're not clicked on an event or smart collections or anything like that. You wanna click on the library, and then you wanna go up to file, and then delete generated library files. This is not gonna hurt your project, it's only gonna delete the render files and you do not need the render files once you've already exported the project or once you're uh, done with it and, or if you're just gonna give it to somebody else, they can just re-render the project and it can create new render files. So delete, check this box, check all, check uh, these two boxes here because you just you, you're gonna wanna get rid of everything if you're moving the project. Um, and then hit OK, and then you're gonna see this dotted line up here, up here. You might get a beach ball, um, just because it's thinking about it. But uh, there you go, see that dotted line right up there? That's, that's because all those render files are gone and it's gonna have to re-render all of this um, next time that you go to use it. So now, you're, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna immediately close the library. Close out of it so it doesn't start to automatic re-render. Final Cut Pro automatically starts re-rendering um, anything that needs rendering when you're not working. To, to stop it from doing that, another thing that you can do is you can go to Final Cut Pro, uh, Preferences, and then um, uncheck Background Render, this little box right here, and that way it's not gonna start re-rendering. Um, so you can see already just that little bit right there has already started re-rendering uh, since I deleted the render files because it works its way down. So now, um, after you've deleted all the render files, uh, you're gonna wanna close the library, file, close library, and then you're just gonna, um, you can close out of Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm just gonna minimize it from now. Uh, but now um, we'll right click this and then we'll look at the file size and we went down to 14.92 gigs, which is a lot better than, I think it was at 30 something. Yep. So, now you would take the, the whole library and you could drag it over to your external hard drive or whatever else you're transferring it on. And then you'll also want to transfer um, you know, all of your project files directly from the camera that you have there onto your external hard drive that you're packing up as well. So you'd wanna, you wanna have your project file and then all your raw files on that hard drive. So now on the other end, when the creative or the, the, uh, that you're collaborating with or the couple or whoever else wants to open it up in, on their own in Final Cut Pro, this is how you do it and this is important. You open up their project. All right, brings us back to the screen. Now if you are completely housing it on a different device, all of the files are gonna, you're gonna get these red boxes that say files are missing, files are missing. Um, they're not missing, they're on the hard drive, you just gotta relink them. So uh, the way that you do that is you select again the library here, and then you're gonna go up to File, Relink Files, and then it would give you an option to show where those files are. You would select them, 
It would come up and then you'd just hit relink files and everything will immediately come back exactly how it was. And then you can work on it from the other end. Um, and then if you need to toss it back and forth, you can pack it up just like I show you, delete the render files, put it on a hard drive, send it back. This makes it real easy to take a project and work on it back and forth. So one more thing I almost forgot. This will help you out too. So if you are, before you even start your projects, before when you're in your, you know, your brand new library that you just created and you're about to import your footage, when you go to file, import, media, I always, always have this little box, leave files in place, because that way it's going to leave the files um, on the hard drive or on your computer um, as opposed to copying them to the library. If you copy them to the library, you're gonna have all the footage, a copy, a duplicate of all the footage on your library, and that's gonna make it massive as well. Uh, so uh, when you're creating your libraries, leave the files in place, don't import them to Final Cut Pro. It's really gonna save on space if you know that you're gonna be moving your project. So just a little tidbit there. But once again, thanks for watching this video. Hope it's helpful and Give me a thumbs up and subscribe.